I'm about to do something I've never done before. Run a head-to-head -head coding challenge between Gemini CLI and Claude Code without running any tests before recording. So I have no idea what the quality of the code output will be and who's going to be the winner. But what I can tell you is that Gemini CLI has a lot of problems. Let's get into it. And before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Google recently released Gemini CLI, their entry into the AI terminal agentic tool race, going up against Claude Code and OpenAI's Codex. But unlike the others, Gemini CLI is fully open source and comes with an insanely generous free usage tier. If you've ever used Claude Code, Gemini CLI will look very familiar. It has slash commands, bash mode, can use at to add files, uses compress instead of compact to keep a summary of the history, and uses a Gemini markdown file, just like a Claude file, to save context for a project. It also saves memory in there too. Although there's no slash init command to automatically create a Gemini file, it's always nice to see the model and the context at all times, which kind of makes up for it. Of course, both of them have support for MCP servers and come with their own default tools. But that's enough for an overview. Let's go ahead with the coding challenge. So I've created a basic React Vite app, one for Gemini and one for Claude. And in each project, there's this prompt MD file with instructions to create a drag and drop interface for an MP3 file and use OpenAI's Whisper model to create a transcript from that file. I'm gonna start with Claude, I'll give it permission and then tell it to run prompt MD. It's created a plan and now it's going to install the OpenAI SDK using bun. I'm going to hit yes and also press shift enter to put it in auto accept edits mode, which should hopefully make things go faster. At the same time, I'm going to ask Gemini to do the same thing. Looks like Claude has finished. So now let's test the app by using bash mode. And it looks like there's an error in the code. I'm gonna copy this error, paste it into Claude and ask it to fix it. And it's fixing the issue and it looks like it's done. Now we'll try that again. And we can see our app is running on localhost 5173. Let's drag in an audio file. Okay, so it's transcribing audio and Wow, this is awesome. It's done exactly what I asked it to do. Nice. Let's go back to Gemini CLI, which has asked if I have any preferences for styling. I'm gonna say no and wait for it to keep constructing the app. Now it's asked if I want to make a change. I'm gonna say yes, always allow. But before I do that, I'll put it in YOLO mode so it doesn't ask me any more questions. And now it's asked to install the OpenAI package. I'll say always allow and turn YOLO mode back on. Hopefully it won't ask me anything else. And it looks like it does. Again, I'll say yes, always allow. And then I'll press shift tab instead. Hopefully that will work. Nope, I guess not. Again, we'll say always allow. And Gemini is still going, applying some styles. Seriously, more questions? Okay, it's finally finished. It's asking me to provide an open AI API key, which makes sense, but it hasn't provided me with a .env file to add the API key to, which is something that Claude Code did. So I'm going to have to add it manually. So after doing that and running the app, looks like we have a similar error to the one that Claude Code gave us. Again, I'll paste it here and ask Gemini to fix it. After accepting changes to the same file multiple times, it looks like Gemini is going in circles. We'll keep going and see where it ends up. And it's finally corrected the issue. So let's run the app again. And now we have what looks like a working product. Let's add the audio file, hit transcribe. And nice, it's actually done exactly what I asked it to but it did take a lot longer and use an awful lot of tokens compared to Claude, which was much shorter and used much less tokens. But to be fair, Gemini CLI was just released. So they're still working out a lot of the kinks. I mean, I kind of find it annoying that you have to exit to change the model and pressing control C doesn't yet clear the input. Also, one thing that annoys me is that in their promo video, they show Gemini CLI being used to generate videos and images. But at the time of recording this video, I still haven't figured out exactly how to do that. Overall, I'm glad Google released Gemini CLI to give Claude and OpenAI some competition. But even the 1 million token context window and the cool security conscious sandbox mode isn't quite enough for me to adopt it in my projects just yet. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments.